Oh, look, it's my Acer Aspire. This particular thing was featured on my last video, which made a lot more views than my usual video. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do another video. I'm gonna give it another chance at life, if you will. Access encoded. Gigabyte of RAM should do the trick. So the last time I fiddled around with this thing, it had one gig of RAM, and it ended up freezing so bad last time, and I literally had to like call it quits there. Like I literally couldn't do anything else. Like all I could, if it couldn't even run, if it couldn't even run one tab of Firefox, like that, that's basically like it's done. It's cooked. Okay, you now we're getting serious. We've got two two gigabyte sticks of DDR2 RAM. I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, I think the eBay listing that I bought this from said that it would work on this machine. Uh, we're gonna find out. Uh, we're gonna put that to the test. Subscribe for more Risk of Rain music. Okay, so we're just gonna move these to the side for now. So like I mentioned last time, I, there's a screw right here that like, you know, once you unscrew it, it basically, you can now take this side off. So we're just gonna go ahead and get that out real quick. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, and the screw is off. Right here. And we're just gonna try and take, pry this thing open. Ah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead. Um, it looks like this cooler thing is in the way. Okay, so that's interesting. I've never worked with laptop RAM, so I don't know how this goes down. Apparently you're supposed to pull these two pins apart, and that way it comes out. It's, it's already going wrong. Oh my god. Alright. What is this? Dog, I'm trying to get... Okay. Here we go. Let's get, get in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at computer stuff. Oh, oh, it's literally like that. No, okay, well that's one stick. <laughs> Time for the other one. Warranty void if seal is broken. Oh fuck, it's already broken. What do I do now? <laughs> what, what else is there to do? Wait, I missed a spot. There we go. <laughs> oh wait, I missed more. Yeah, just hammer this thing, make sure we're all good to go. All right, so that was a successful install, I think. Uh, let's power it on. All right, so we're back here again uh, at my desk with the Celeste background and all that jazz. So yeah, we're just gonna boot her up real quick, you know, make sure that everything works out right. So let's just plug her right in. Hopefully nothing explodes. All right, we've got power. Come on, give me something. Talk to me, Tiger. BGA. That's not a good sign. Uh-oh. I fucking knew it. Oh, what a waste. Really? Oh, it doesn't work, guys. All right, so I double checked. It says it runs four gigabytes, but that's clearly not the case here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna unplug this and take take out the other two gigabyte stick and see what happens next. I scream, it's I fucking forgot to plug in the HDMI. All right, let's, nobody freak out. It's not over yet. Uh, you know, there's beeps, which is good. It's promising. So we're just gonna try this again, make sure that everything actually works. All right, well, this is an interesting development. Uh, for one, not only do the sticks work, uh, it's actually way faster now. Like, having those four gigabytes of RAM really makes a heck of a difference. Um, let's see if I remember my password. I'm just gonna put Lubuntu here, but you know what? We don't need that. Oh, by the way, I installed Lubuntu on the stink pen. So, you know, rest in peach, Arch. 
Okay, so the last time we pulled up NeoFetch on this thing, we had 833 megabytes. Which is not a whole lot. That's that's not a whole lot of RAM to work with. So we're just gonna install this real quick. Okay, pull up NeoFetch. Whoa! Wow! We. It's wait. It's only three gigs. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it only three? Like even the ThinkPad, it like. Like, the other one doesn't do this bad. It's got like 303... What? Okay, we clearly have an underlying issue right here. So, uh, here. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna change gears real quick. I'm gonna distro hop over to the Ubuntu real quick. Uh, to give this thing a bit of a better chance. Also, now also because I really like, uh, the Ubuntu's screensavers. <laughs> so... Here, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll distro hop. Alright, we're finally at the desktop. Uh, let's do some stuff. Here, I won't be goofing around too much. Uh, I do want to point out that I really like the screensavers on Lubuntu. They're, they're neat. I love them. Like, you've got so many options. I think one of my favorites is the one with, like, the hands and shit. Here we go, the hands and... Yes, yes, I like this one. These are... This one's great. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Some of these can be a little explicit, but... You know what? Yeah, we don't, we don't have to worry about that too much. I'm gonna go ahead and get Firefox loaded up. Last time, one tab of Firefox was enough to completely freeze the entire system. Like, I, like the last video, with only 833 megabytes, it, it was completely frozen, like, there was nothing I could do after that point. We have three gigs. There's supposed to be four, but, you know, we have three. Which is cool, I guess. You know, whatever. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna try Reddit one second. I like how it has Twitter. That's not bad. That's not bad. As long as the swap isn't being overloaded, then we're golden. We're we're chilling. So the fact that we're not at 100% usage on the memory is fantastic. We might actually have a chance at making this. I wouldn't say usable, but you know we can do something for a change. Uh, change. Uh, actually, here, let's see how it plays out first. It might not be too bad. So. Okay, no, I lied. This is fucking awful. <laughs> okay, so. Audio just does not exist for some reason. I don't know what I did wrong here in the process, but. Look here, you know what? I'm gonna put this in MP4 and see what happens. This should be running okay. Okay, this isn't really that much better to be honest. Okay, well, it can it can do 720p, but it's not perfect. Which is not a very good sign. This is like... This should really set the stage as to just how terrible these things are. Like, they can't even do... 720p pretty well. <laughs> like, they can't do 720p good. Because... I, like, I'm, I'm just... I'm just dumbfounded at this point. I'm... It's not even just that. I'm like, exhausted. I'm exhausted from... Playing around with shitty computers. I want to do something a little more interesting. Eh, it runs fine. It runs better. Better than one might expect. Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I'm just gonna end it there. <laughs> it was just absolute nothing but disappointment all around. Even with the new RAM, which for some reason, instead of being 4 gigabytes like it's supposed to be, it's running at 3 gigs, which is... It, I mean, if anything, it's basically par for the course. I mean, 
This thing has 4 gigs, or at least it's closer to it from last I checked. And at this rate, I'm just like I had to I think I'm just going to end it early because like it's just it's too boring. I can't get into it. <laughs> I tried. I like I quit. I, I I really tried. But like, you know, it's it's too miserable to work with, you know. I mean, at least I had fun with this thing because you could do more with it, and that's just with one thread instead of two. But you know, you know, it's like you know, just having hype. Just because it has hyper threading doesn't make it a better processor by default. I probably won't be making any more videos on the Aspire. Uh, I am just done. I'm freaking done with it. I can't bring myself to mess with it any longer. Um, I'm probably gonna do videos regarding other low NPCs like this one right here which can actually do things I know that's crazy um, I have one other desktop down here that I've been wanting to make a video for a while but for some reason I've just never had the time to do it so uh, here's to looking forward to that uh, and uh, you know thanks for watching subscribe Yeah.